Just bear with me a second while I get Facebook up here. It's giving me a bit of grief. All right. Whoops, sorry about that. All right. Whoops, sorry. Hey, Carol, how are you? Glad you could join. Just getting things set up here or trying. Had a wee bit of trouble, but I think we're okay. Hello, Pam. Glad you could join. <clears throat> All right. We are good to go, I think. As long as Facebook doesn't fail me now. <clears throat> hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Tonight is my free online card class, and tonight I am <clears throat> showcasing fun fold cards using the new online exclusive that is coming on March 1st. And it is the Simply Zinnia Suite. And that suite consists of... <clears throat> I should have a piece of cardstock in here so that you can actually see this folder. This gorgeous Zinnia embossing folder. Isn't that pretty? I'm hoping that the camera's picking that up. And it has these um, adhesive back shiny sequins that coordinate perfectly. And it has the Simply Zinnia bundle. And it's red rubber and dyes. And it has the three Zinnias in a cluster. And then it has individual ones and some fab fabulous greetings as well. So we're going to be playing with those along with another part of the suite is the gorgeous DSP. And um, I'm not going to go through it sheet by sheet tonight, but you will be able to see that throughout the night as we do our three fun fold cards. Now, this first one is called a book binding Z fold. Now, we've all done a book binding fold card before. Super fun. Super easy. Just the way we like it. We are going to be doing a book binding Z fold. It's the first time I've ever seen this card so I wanted to share it with you. Our base is four and a quarter by eleven and we're going to score that together at two and an eighth, four and a quarter and five and a half. The front panel is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. You're going to need three pieces of DSP, three different patterns, 1x4, 2x4, 3x4, and then of course your card liner, but this time it's going to be 2 inches by 4 inches. So I'm just going to sit that to the side, and I'm going to show you a sample first. I made this one last night, trying to figure it out, so that I knew what I was talking about when I showed you guys how to do it. <laughs> um, this now a typical book binding fold card would be like this right and it would open this way but this has the z on the front flap how cool is that i did this one with the the be my valentine suite and i thought that turned out super cute so i thought we would make one together tonight with the zinnia suite so I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and we are going to do this together. All right, so we're going to put the 11 inch side at the top and we are going to score at two and one eight. It's 
get that cutting blade out of the way. Two and an eighth, four and one quarter, and five and a half. All right, that's the most difficult part of this entire card. Then we're going to fold that in half and find a bone folder. There's one. We're going to fold that in half and burnish that fold. And then just like a normal book binding fold, which is here, we are going to score that. And at this point, I'm going to put adhesive on this panel and glue it shut. Give that a little press. <clears throat> You guys have any questions hello Michelle I thought you were on vacation glad you could join us are you back or are you still on vacation all right this is a normal book binding fold but you remember that other score line we're going to fold that over this way okay and burnish that fold so there's the first two parts of our Z, or Z, depending on where you are. Now I have the four and a quarter by three and a quarter piece, and that's gonna go here on the front, okay? Super, super easy. I'm just going to put adhesive on here. And all I need to do is line this up right there and you're going to have equal measurements. Just try to keep it straight. Don't do what I just did and wiggle it out of place. So there's our Z. Okay? I guess however you want to look at it. <clears throat> Oh my heavens, I'm jealous. Just saying, I'm jealous. All right, you guys might hear some noise in the background. The road crew is out here still working on... <clears throat> I need a minute here. Still working on the road out here. That is too big. I must have been... That is the right size. <clears throat> I'm going to bring that paper trimmer back in. This is supposed to be four inches, and I cut it four and a quarter. There we go. Better too big than too small. All right, I'm just going to dry fit these pieces so that I can see how I want them. <clears throat> This was another option, but I don't think I'm going to use that. I don't think it goes. And this one I can do either way. Kind of like this one. So I am going to put the leaf side out. Like so. And if you're wondering, this card, card base is Berry Burst. It's one of the colors in this paper pack. There's lots and lots of beautiful colors in here. It was kind of hard to pick just one, but that's what I went with for this card. <clears throat> now, when we go to the inside, these two pieces are going to form our inside. So I'm just going to dry fit them and then put them on one at a time. So 
So basically, this card is just a standard book fold with an extra score and an extra piece of cardstock on the front. That's basically what it amounts to. We haven't done some fun folds for a while, so I thought all three of my cards tonight would be fun folds. All right, there so far is our base. Now, I have not, what did I do with my stamp set? I am going to set this aside. I have not done any stamping or die cutting for this one. Um, this is going to be a bit big. No, we're going to use it. We are going to use it. Let me grab, I've got some scraps here somewhere. <clears throat> and a stamp apparatus because I'm sure I'm going to want to stamp this one a couple times. And we will, oh yeah. Let's do it right side up. That would have been good. <laughs> All right, let me grab some Memento Black ink. And we'll get this inked up. One more go. Should do it. I like my images nice and crisp and dark. I'm happy with that. All right. Now I'm going to need a greeting. I don't want anything too large. I don't know whether this one will fit. Yes, it will. Let's stamp this one. And just for fun, I'm going to stamp that in... No, I'm going to stick with black. I am going to stick with black. We'll just flip this plate over and pick up that stamp. go. Now we can get this out. Set this aside. And I like to color on something where it's not going to bleed through. All right, so I think we need to have very burst Uh, Daffodil Delight. Um, lemon Lime Twist. And I'm going to go Light Blackberry Bliss. We'll see what we can do with these. And I am just going to quickly, as I can, color these images. I'm not even going to do any shading because I don't want you guys to be here all night. We are doing three fun folds, but this one is the most time consuming of them all. And I've done a lot of prep work for the other ones. So it shouldn't be too bad. And 
And this is the Dark Lemon Lime Twist. I'm just looking at the different colors that I have in the paper here. That's my choice, how I'm choosing my markers. All right, one more leaf. And like I said, I may go in later and put some shading in here. But for the purpose of tonight's video, I am simply going to... The tip is broke on that marker. <laughs> Never fails every time I try to use that tip. And I switched to the dark daffodil because I didn't think the light daffodil was noticeable enough. And all right, I'm going to try a dark, or this is a light blackberry bliss. And this, these images are nice because the artist has done all the shading for us, really, for most of it. I mean, yes, if I was making this special for someone, I would take the time to do the shading and whatnot. But I don't want to keep you guys here all night. And I'm sure you don't want to be here all night. I thought this was dark daffodil. It's dark lemon lolly that I grabbed. All right, so now let's do one in light berry burst. And we'll do the other one in Dark Berry Burst just to see how it turns out. You never know till you try, right? And really, this is all about showing you the fun folds. You can decide for yourselves what sets you want to use or if you want the Zinnia set. Oh, this berry burst is so rich. All right. What do you think? I like the three different tones. I'll get my hand out of the way here in a second and pull it up to the camera so you can see it up close and personal. What do you think? Do you like the three different tones? I do. All right, I'm gonna move those markers out of my way and I'm going to bring in my mini. Let's cut this off first so that it's going to go through the machine. And we will find our guy. I'm just going to run this through. Oh, it moved on me. Let's get a piece of tape. 
Here we go. Perfect. Get that out of the way. So pretty so so pretty now what did I do with my greeting I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer oops sorry I didn't mean to hit the camera let's go Well, they're starting to saw again outside. I apologize for that. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. <laughs> we had uh, our road out front collapse and caused a water main break. And we just got our water back today, um, just before supper. And the hole, they just keep making it larger and making it larger. They've already got seven dump trucks full of sand in the hole, and there's still three or four feet that's not filled. So you can just imagine how huge this hole was. All right. Now, back to our card. See how that pops off there? All right. I am going to flip that over. And get some dimensionals. And we're going to pop this up. It's always better when you pop it up, in my opinion, because it just gives it that little bit of lift and dimension. All right. Take your pick tool. All right, I've changed the tip. Oops, my fingers are stuck. Two more, and we'll pop that just like that. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on each end of this greeting. And I'm going to pop this right across here. Love it. Words fail to express my gratitude. And boom. And then the finishing touch. Um, I'm going to try a little bow. I don't know if I'm going to like, oh, you know what? Bear with me. No, I don't. I do not. However, I do have this. I have some twine in the um, Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to use it. From days gone by. But guess what? It'll bring it all together. There we go. You can go there. And... I'm going to flip. I couldn't have done that if I tried. I got a, dim <laughs> I got a dimensional inside my take your pick tool. Okay. <laughs> Never a dull moment, my friends. I'm going to take this off. If I can get it off. There we go. I should have put this on first. And I'm going to put this right here and let the tails hang down the back side. 
And now we're going to take some of these gorgeous sparkly and just add a little bit here and there. Just like so. And that, my friends, is our first card and, in my opinion, our longest card. And that is the book Zedfold. Bookfold Zed, book binding Zedfold. All right. And here is the Be Mine. I will pop those out of the way somewhere. I got myself all crammed into a tiny little hole here again. And we are going to move on to card number two. And this one is super, super easy. And easy is good. This is called a DSP showcase. And it's kind of a fun fold, but it's not really. It's it's just you're just cutting a, a smaller card base and then adding on to it. So our card base here is five and a half inches by six inches. Okay, and we're on the six inch side. We're going to score that at four and a quarter. All right, and then we have this piece of uh, Daffodil Delight that I have embossed with that gorgeous Zinnia embossing folder. And I'm going to run this. right down here leaving just a little wee border see how that pops all right then we're going to take this piece of dsp and you'll notice there's the same border all the way around so i'm just going to simply put my adhesive here, being careful not to go too close to the edge because I don't want to glue my card shut and then this is just going to slide right in there like so and then I had this piece left over and I thought you know what I'm gonna use it I just cut a piece of white to go on the inside and we're just going to pop this in the center of the inside I told you this one was going to be easy and you can make your centerpiece whatever size you want it to be I just used the scrap that I had because Lord knows I have enough scrap. All right, so far so good. Now, here, I thought, I don't know, this might be too much of a good thing. Yeah, no, we won't. We're gonna go to the brushed brass butterflies. And all we have is wee ones, but that's okay. We'll use them. I'm just going to put three little butterflies on here. Flying up. Carol Anderson. <laughs> Had to get that little dig in. All right. All right. Now... We need to embellish this somehow. Let's see what I have. See, I haven't thought this all, this one all the way through because this one was super, super simple. I'm thinking, oh, I can't. That's not a good plan. I was thinking wrong. Let's take, I have some gold edged ribbon. Let's see. Well, that looks good. Two, three. Let's cut this and bring that cardboard back in that I was coloring on. 
for a minute. And we're going to use a Highland Heather light. We're going to color this ribbon. No, we're not. We're going to use Highland Heather Dark. Shut up. <laughs> yes, Carol. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments here now. There's quite a delay. <laughs> you know me. I have to get my digs in. <laughs> I think I'm going to have lots of ribbon, but I'm committed now. I'm going to color it. This one's a very colorful card. There we go. All right. Wave this around so that that alcohol marker dries. And I'm going to run this right down here over the embossing. I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Now, where's my helper? Get this where I want it. And I'm just going to use my tweezers to hold it so that I can complete my bow, maybe. And then we'll pull those out and tighten it up. I told you I had a ton of ribbon. Oh boy. No, oh, those are not my ribbon scissors. All right. Check that out. Super easy, super simple. Showcases both sides of the DSP. That is card number two. That's our DSP showcase. All right. It has been years since I made one of these cards. And this is called a flip it card. So I have lots of bits and bobs in here. And hopefully, if I can get them all out, we can figure this one out together. Your card base needs to be eight and a half by five and a half. I'm going to just lift this up and set it out of the way because I need to bring in my big machine. So this card base is eight and a half by five and a half and we folded it in half at four and a quarter. Okay, now we're going to open our machine. Sorry, I'm slow with this bum shoulder. And we are going to take our card. Now, I've got markings on here. All right. I'm hoping you guys can see these markings. Probably not because the machine's in the way. Let me do this for a minute. I'm hoping you can see these. So... We've scored it and folded it in half at four and a quarter. I've marked right here on each side at two and one eighth. And then I've also marked in and up from each side at five eighths of an inch. So I've marked each side at two and one eighth. And then I've measured up five eighths and in five eighths. So I've got four pencil marks on there. And if you can't see them, just trust me, they're there. I promise. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a deckled circle die and I am going to look for these marks. So there's there's the five eighths of an inch. So I want to be in that far. And here is five eighths of an inch. So I want to be up. Okay, so up five eighths in five eighths. And then I want this die about halfway on that two and one eighth inch line. If that makes sense to you. I hope it does. All right, I need a clear plate and we are going to, I'm going to slide this out for a moment because I need to slide this plate in and put that right on that two and one eighth inch mark because I only want half of this to cut. So by putting that plate right on that line, I'm only cutting where the cutting plate is. Okay, so let me get this oh, big boy out of the way. And I will show you what I've done. Let me throw that guy away. So here is our card. And you'll see here, I've halfway cut this, okay? Now we need to bring in our scoreboard. I'm going to use a little one for the purpose of this. And we are going to score on that two and one eighth inch line. Okay. So this is four and a quarter, two and one eighth. So I'm going to score from one side to the deckled circle. Then I'm going to stop and I'm going to go to the other side and score to the deckled circle. Okay, that's it. That's as difficult as it gets. All right, so now this is, let's bring all these other bits and pieces back in. This card folds not how you would expect it to. Typically a card folds this way. This one is going to fold up and fold back on the score line. Okay, and I did not score that straight by any stretch of the imagination. Well, well, well. All right, we will fix it. How did I manage that? Let's have a look here. Oh, the joys of live video. <laughs> you get to see me mess up. All right. As you can see, I have done something terribly wrong. I'm going to put this on here for a minute. So the back half is correct. It is definitely the front half. Let's bring that scoreboard back in here. Put this in here and see what's going on. Where's that two and one eighth? Oh, I see what I did. I scored on the wrong score line down here at the bottom. That's what I did. All right, let's see if I can fix this. I was off just a wee bit. Let's just burnish that out flat. And it's still out a smidge, but I can fix that with my paper trimmer. Oops.
Oops, didn't cut all the way through. Where's my scissors? Long handled scissors to the rescue. There we go. So don't do what I did. <laughs> do what I said, just don't do what I did. Because you'll mess up your card like I did. All right, now I have a piece of DSP and I think I want the plaid side. But let's just put some of these pieces together to see what we think. Um, these flowers layer together. So this was my thought. I'll just throw them on here so you can see. I think they get lost on the Blackberry Bliss. So I cut another white circle. Right, so we have that, and I think this is going to look nice. Or do you think that, let me get this straight here, this looks better. What do you think? White or Blackberry Bliss, ladies? Let me know in the comments and I will start to put my flowers together while you guys ponder that and let me know what you think. Because these flowers, I have to twist them and twist them and twist them to get them the way I want them. Because I did not mark them. There, I'm happy with that position. So let's just put some glue here. And boom. Carol says Blackberry Pam says oh, I'm surprised. Okay, you guys are the bosses. I will do as you say. On the outside. On the inside, it's going to be another story because I don't have two blackberry cut. All right. Oh, nope, that's not right. Thought I lucked out there for a minute. I mean, seriously, flowers are totally imperfect in nature so why am I sweating the small stuff but there we go so we will put the blackberry stitch circle on to the deckled circle and for the inside we'll use the white one all right so now my task is to line up these deckled circles so they match. Just like so. I better put this piece on the inside as well, which is actually the front, but you know, in my world, it's the inside. All right, I just did that wrong and put the white one on the outside. Dang. Can I get it off without wrecking it? We will see. After me telling you that I was going to put the blackberry one on the outside. Well... Here's that spatula. See if I can get that off. There we go. All right, we will put this one on the outside. And boom. And 
and we need a flower on there. And on the outside, I'm going to use dimensionals. And I'm probably off camera. Yep, I am. I apologize. I got glue all over me. And I have a little leaf that I stamped and cut and colored. And I'm just going to tuck that right there on the front. And what did I do? <laughs> I put it together backwards. I know I did. Hang on. Hang on. Have mercy. There we go. Nope. I still have it wrong. There we go. But it's not flipping. What did, <laughs> what did I do wrong? Bear with me while I figure this out. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Me supposed to be showing you how to do this. Hmm. Hang on. Let me see what I can figure out. Why did that not work? Did I fold it wrong? I must have. Okay, this is a fun this fun fold is a mess. <laughs> this is our fun fold, ladies. It's not a flip it. It's morphed into a something else. Because I don't know what I did wrong. I promise you I will figure it out. But it's not going to happen now because I'm flipping out trying to figure this out. Yeah. No matter which way you slice it, it's not going to flip. All right, let's get a greeting on here and get this leaf back on. And we're going to say, oops, we messed up on, on a live. It's not the first time and it will not be the last. So I'm hoping you're getting a good laugh out of it. Because you might as well laugh as cry. And this greeting, I just stamped, thank you so much. And I'm just going to pop that down here in the corner. I think I'm going to mat it. I have, ow, I have some Highland Heather here. I'm going to glue this on, maybe, if I can get some glue coming out of there, just to give it a little something, something. And because I've already messed up, I'm just going to trim it with scissors and... Call it done. Now we're going to have to put a little piece of white either on the back or on the inside so that, oops, shoot, so that um, I would think probably down here. Let's find a strip of white and that's not big enough let me find a piece of white and that should be it should be good with two inches two inches by 
let's have a look at that. That should tuck right in there. I think, I think, yep, it will. Let's get some glue on here. And get that in place. So now we have a nice place to write our greeting. And I'm going to make a little bow. I've got some Blackberry Bliss ribbon here from days gone by. I am just going to put a little knot. No, I'm not. I'm going to make a bow because I don't want it to be too much like the last one. <laughs> I make you feel better. <laughs> if you knew how much I mess up, Carol. Hi, Debbie. Glad you could join us. Welcome to the insane asylum. We're messing up here tonight. All right. We have some ribbon. Now, if I had a glue dot, or two or three, where do I want this bow? Probably right here, just like so. Yep, just like that. Now a little bling. Where did I put all those little sparklies? I don't think I want the sequins for this one. I think I want, um, these Tinsel Gems 3-pack. They have some purplish, oh yes, I have another flower. I can put this on the inside if I put it low enough. Look at that. Let's get some glue on there. So this is not a flip it card. This is a mess up card by Shell. <laughs> because I did something wrong and it doesn't flip. So I'm going to put my dots in a row this time. along the bottom. All right. Now, let me clean up some of this mess so that we can get all of these cards back out here and have a look at what we've created. All right. My non flip it card still looks pretty. Still has a place to write the greeting. I don't know what we're going to call it, but it's it's a shell fold. Then we have the two book binding Z folds, one with the Be Mine suite that I did last night. And then with the zinnias that I did tonight. And then we have the DSP showcase that showcases both sides of the designer series paper. And that, my friends, is our cards for tonight. So I'm sorry I messed up on this one. It's I will figure that out. I promise I will figure it out and we will do it again. Um, even if I just do it on a separate video and just post it so that you know how to do it because that is not how it's supposed to turn out. I'm still baffled as to what I did wrong. Um, but yeah, we will, <laughs> we will figure it out and I will post a video one way or the other and uh, I will also post the measurements for you. All right, have a good night. Yes, Carol, I will be putting these on my blog tomorrow with the measurements. 
Um, so, yeah. Once again, that's it for tonight. Sorry for the mess up on this card. The other ones worked out as they should. And uh, I will post the correction video for this one once I figure it out. All right. That's it for tonight. Have a good night, ladies. Bye-bye.